ABC News exclusive as the U.S. squares off against Iran over its nuclear program. Today, after a meeting with President Sarkozy of France, President Obama said the long-term consequence of a nuclear Iran, unacceptable. And he wants sanctions against Tehran within weeks. And now ABC News has learned a high-level defector from Iran's nuclear program is helping the CIA. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is breaking that story tonight. Brian. Diane, the precise whereabouts of this Iranian nuclear scientist had been a mystery until now. But today we learn from people in the intelligence community the details of how he defected and was relocated to the U.S., although for security reasons, we're not going to reveal all that we were told. He's only in his 30s, but Sharam Amiri was already an award-winning nuclear physicist in Iran, and his defection was a big breakthrough for the CIA. Anytime the CIA can get an Iranian nuclear scientist out of Iran and now working for the United States, that's a major coup. The CIA plan involved Amiri going on a religious pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia. He disappeared three days after arriving. Amiri's disappearance set off alarm bells back in Iran, where officials, including the foreign minister, quickly accused the U.S. and the CIA of kidnapping him. It's much easier to imagine someone as having forced into defecting rather than someone who's an Iranian citizen in the nuclear program wanting to voluntarily um, go over to the other side. Amiri was believed to have worked at or near a then-secret nuclear enrichment facility outside the Iranian city of Qom. According to those briefed on the defection, Amiri was able to confirm U.S. suspicions of the Iranian nuclear program in his debriefings with the CIA last summer. Good morning. In September, President Obama went public with what he called detailed evidence of the secret Qom nuclear States, facility. The size and configuration of this facility is inconsistent with a peaceful program. Since then, the New York Times has reported there may be at least two more secret facilities in Iran. Iran has repeatedly denied that it seeks to build a nuclear weapon. But in the CIA's most recent report to Congress, made public last week, the intelligence community said it believes Iran continues to leave the door open to developing nuclear weapons, but has not yet made the decision to do so. Diane. This is a big one. This is a big one. Thanks, Brian Ross.